Okay, today we're going to be reviewing this uh, Just for Tea uh, power supply. Um, here is the uh, the model number. It's uh, this one right there. It outputs 30 volts max, uh, 10 amps max of current, and it does 300 watts of power. Um, so that's what that model number is doing. Here's some of the other specifications of this particular unit. Um, here's some of the uh, buttons and panel features. And um, you can do a variety of things uh, with memories and switching voltage and current and hibernating and all sorts of different functions. Um, I'm not going to go into those special features, over current protection, um, over voltage protection, um, groups of voltage and current value store and recall functions, output function settings, brightness adjustments, things of that nature. So on this particular unit, like I said, um, here's a little uh, picture brochure and how to adjust the current without a load. So there are little some instructions there. Um, I really got this unit because I wanted something small, um, which is relatively small, inexpensive, $60 on Amazon. Um, and then also on this unit uh, down at the bottom, we've got uh, USB-C ports and USB-A ports, and those um, can put out uh, some fast charging currents for your uh, cell phone loads and things of that nature. So quick overview on changing the voltage on this. You just come over here, hit the V, and if you keep on hitting the V, it, it changes the digit location of what you're going to be adjusting. So if we come over here, if we turn it clockwise, we're going to increase. If we turn it counterclockwise, we decrease. Um, then if we hit A for amperage, we can do the same thing. It's pretty easy to use. And then there's an output button here to turn, turn on your voltage output and turn it off. This is the main power button. You can shut off the power. Um, but anyway, what I wanted to show is uh, what this... Um, USB port can do. So I'm going to put this little plug in here. Okay, so right now it's coming out with 5 volts. So let me put in this white cable here. And then I've got my uh, USB C. I'm going to plug it in my cell phone as we're recording. Okay. I plugged it in and then it's going to negotiate 15 watts of power which is quite substantial that is uh, on the USB a port unfortunately this little power USB power tester um, it won't fit in here because it's got too much plastic molding around it so um, I can't really demonstrate the power on that one, but I did take a USB-C cable and I plugged it in there. And then I will plug the end of that USB-C cable into my cell phone. And when I do that, um, it tells me the charge completion time is the same as what this uh, USB-A port was. So it's providing 15 watts of power through the USB-C port or the USB-A port with my uh, Samsung cell phone. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, also, I wanted to look back into the specifications manual here. Let's see here. Yeah, here it is right there. So these are all the uh, fast charging um, capabilities uh, max output power is 20 watts so I think uh, for a unit that's low cost and has a lot of uh, nice feature set small um, got the USB ports on there uh, it's pretty good value for what I want to be doing 
um, and it will be complementary to uh, one of my other higher end power supplies. So I uh, hope uh, you liked the video. Um, let's see, lastly, uh, if I shut this power off here um, and, uh, and I plug the USB cable in my cell phone, let's see, I was going to see if it was still outputting power. Let's, let's do this last test here. Get this in here. All right, so we're still coming out with five volts on a live USB port, even though the power supply is off. And then uh, if I plug in my cell phone, you can see you can still charge your accessories with the uh, no screen on the uh, power supply. And uh, if I turn it on, it's still providing power. To charge my cell phone. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day.